Okay, hello and welcome, and let's hopefully get back to the last part. Last we left it, uh, my bear got ripped apart, so I have to do this last part without any any bear. So, um, let's hopefully, let's hope. As the game's getting, uh, uh, I don't want to say scarier, because it's not really scarier, but more intense. Um, uh, they take my bear away from me. That's not very, that's not very nice. <sighs> okay.
Like, oh, what do they call that? Over top of the mobile, over top of the baby, all those the, 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 the chips, stuff and stuff. That was the mobile mode. Uh, so, why? What's with all the boxes, too? I thought that there was nothing gonna happen and nothing could actually 
actually happened to me, and I was gonna start rushing through the, the game. Then there was the then there was the creature coming through. It was it was very well done, and the fact that it's going like how how much of it was just the idea of it being a kid and what you see, baby, and what you see, what you perceive of it, or maybe Mama was actually Satan, and Mama was a demon. Maybe Mama was a demon. What the fuck was in the basement to make the kid fucking make all this fucking come come about? Because what what made the kid come up with this whole world about going into this other like dimension and shit? I want to see what's actually in, in, in the basement. Because it's fine to see your mama as a fucking demon because she's drinking and she has an anger issue, but to to to, to see it then.
that was that was very cool. Let's just look in the museum. Let's see what's in the museum. Just because I mean this this would be a short video other otherwise. There wasn't really a purpose to leaning. I don't understand the leaning. There wasn't really a purpose to it. Show me like if I if I finished everything or what? Hey, and welcome to Teddy's grand uh, I mean the museum of Among the Sleep. Go on, take a look around. There was, that's the thing too, there was like, what, three different creatures, so what's the, what's the different creatures? Is all three of the different creatures all mother? Or, oh, I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, and then that's the one in the woods. That's the creature in the woods that I had to get away from the first time I actually died when the creature grabbed me. That's the first creature I saw in the house, even, before I even went down. And then that's the one where I, when I knocked over the, the bottles that would come and get me. So are they the same people? myself as a person who's like delved in, in, in a little bit of 3D and 2D art, uh, yeah, it, 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 how something can go from one thing and what you didn't expect it to be to, to become something else. me if I'm missing any collectibles or something. I don't know if I'm missing not all the collectibles.
Now this one is an old relic story and particularly how the game ended was very different in the early days of production back then. Teddy was the antagonist of the game. The story was that the broken family situation made the child vulnerable and an evil entity, a monster disguised as a friendly teddy bear, took advantage of this by tricking the child into a dangerous adventure far from home. That's what I was thinking. When I first played it, I always thought the bear was going to be the fucking the antagonist. And that's an interesting idea that they actually thought of that too. When I played the demo, I was wondering about that the whole time. Because shit doesn't start happening until the bear gets there, right? Oh, there was going to be a bunch of different little collectibles or something. Little, little, little toys that would keep you safe. That's cool. Concept art, the stuff that never actually made it into the game. This, this is actually really cool. To do this. this is really well done. This is better done than some whole games are done. This museum is better done than some whole games are done. That's one thing, even though in the demo it made it seem like the bear was the good guy and teaching you how to fucking like be, be safe in the darkness and stuff, is I always wondered if if eventually, like when, when, when I played the demo originally, that I always wondered if eventually it would turn out, because stuff starts happening only when the bear arrives, is that it would turn out that the bear was the whole reason. <laughs> Like Knights of Republic 2, how Darth Treya was on your side for most of it, and she's training you to fight her in the end. That kind of a thing. Now this is this is really cool. This is really cool. I'd love to, to, to sit here and spend some time, but I got other stuff. This is really, really well done. Great, great game. 10 out of 10. And I don't feel that far that easily. Huh?
bears. Yeah, they said the bear is the antagonist in the original. And I guess you were saying. Hello. <laughs> Places go in. Five little animals <laughs> that on a steep, steep hill. A snail that dreams of climbing trees, but never will. A hungry, starving hippo whose gummies are red. And her best friend, Seagull. Lying lifeless and dead. <laughs> and now, for the main ingredient. Thank you. You did very well. I will enjoy you very much. Now that's creepy because that definitely means that it was actually some demon shit. So now you're not even sure if, if, if what you saw was real or fake. Would you actually see some demon shit or what? Here is something truly special. Want to see what the game almost was at some point? This is an old version of the story's conclusion, and it's been something we have not shown anybody except a few testers in the early days. You might say here, I got to have more fun than in the original ending. <laughs> Come in and see. Concept of the furnace monster. Okay, yeah, there was going to be a furnace. Okay, there was. That's why there was nothing to do with the furnace originally. Okay, so I know I wanted to read to see if they had anything to do on these, on these things. Okay, well it doesn't it doesn't show me anything. Um, what collectibles I did. Anyways, great job. Review, ten out of ten. Definitely, possibly. 
for whatever year it came out. I don't know when it came out. Last year, year before. Definitely fucking up there for game of the year as far as I'm concerned. Um, it was it was definitely really... And it keeps me guessing because I don't know if what I saw was real or fake or what. If it was all in the kid's head or, or it, was there actually demons? And the way that they were going originally, it looks like there was going to be demons. So... 10 out of 10, great game. Um, you should definitely try it out. Uh, Among the Sleep, it was an amazing game. I got it for free on Epic. Uh, I don't know when. Um, I'm trying to go through a bunch of fucking games that they gave out for free. Anyways, I definitely wish I had paid for it because it was, it, was, it was definitely amazing and worth it. Can't wait for whatever they come up with, with next. And uh, that's it.